able to attend here and ask you questions personally. That's why I have a Q&A, absolutely. I Good. Yes. Before this even starts, we're, I would love to address the racism going on right in this library, right where you stand at. I have over, let's say, 18 videos of racist behavior going on here at this library. I want to address that. I'm the, I'm the photographer, by the way. What happened? What, hap what happened to me? Oh, trust me. It's getting ready to go on YouTube very shortly. I'm also the legal guy and the YouTuber. This library has a separate set of rules for black people that they don't have for white people, such as they'll come by and it's actually personally happened to me. And I ain't from Boca. I don't play by these rules. Well, sir, your music's too loud. Okay, I have on earphones. Sir, your music's too loud. We can hear you your... Have earphones on and you're now you understand my frustration. Well, so it's, it's, not the actual, out, it's not the actual people that's complaining. It's the staff members um, doing this racist no, behavior. I'm going to tell you how it's racist. If you tell me that you can hear my music from my earphones and I'm way in the back and you tell me we can hear it all the way up front. No. That it's not possible. No, that's that's the first thing. The second thing is, once again, I'm the legal guy. There's wheels on these desks. You see the wheels right here. If you have desks that have wheels, that means they're movable. I build websites. I just built a website. This is what I do. I turned my desk around because Boca Raton Police Department kept on spying on what I was doing from my tablet. So I turned the whole desk around and put my back against the wall. A library staff member came by and said, we're not allowed to move furniture, sir. I said, really? All these white people move the desks all the time. You never say anything to them. Okay, that's another incident. Another incident is, sir, you're talking too loud. But I'm like, wait, all the rest of these white people are talking too loud. You never say anything to them. So what I did was, I went and got a copy of the library rules and regulations, okay? And in the library... You were talking too loud. Mm -hmm. You were talking too loud. But that's not true, okay? okay. The that's only bad. people that are really complaining are the library staff members. But it becomes racist when you tell that's black people or people of color that these rules exist. White people are doing the same exact thing. We got plenty of video of it. It's me and a couple other people. That's why it's going to be a class well, action lawsuit. Video. We have video of it. They know we have video of it. I had You've a. Got to make a presentation with your video. See and the the, the you problem. Bring it to the right place, and that's this this doing. would be this, but how? But I mean, just talking about it. Show no, it. so 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 it's not just talking about it. There's actual complaints in at City Hall. Okay. Boy Johnson just recently put in a complaint at City Hall. So what we've what we've discovered is a lot of this stuff is being swept under the rug with the city of Boca. In fact, I went over personally when I first got the Boca and filed a complaint, tried to file a complaint. You know what happened to me when I showed up at City Hall? They called four police officers on me. And all I was trying to do was file a complaint against their police department because I was being harassed as a black man for sitting on a bench. I have that video also when I first got the Boca. So what we have is a pattern or practice, as they like to say in federal court, we, have, we show a pattern of practice, not just with me. There was a biracial kid, biracial kids that came in here. They were discriminated against too. It's a systematic discrimination against colored people in the city of Boca. And there's no mistake about it because I start meeting other people that experience the same thing. That doesn't matter. Let me explain. I made reference. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that the city is not racist just because you hire black people. I actually made a comment to this officer outside. That's a tactic that racist people do all the time. They said, well, we're not racist. We have black friends. We have black police officers on the, for on the force. That's the oldest trick in the book. What I'm here to say, now that I know what's going on, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. It's, no, who are you? Are you, are you, a you, okay, I'm thinking that you're actually a part of the, I need to be directing it to him. And this is open to the public, right? We're going to come in. I go by the photographer. The photographer? Just the photographer. Good. I overheard everything you said. 
The city does not tolerate racism. Everything Good. you said was the first time I've heard of any of it, and I'm not going to have an answer for you today on what you just said, other than I will listen and I will discuss it all with the city manager. First time I've ever heard of it. And I've talked to uh, assistant attorney Fernan Fernandez or somebody, okay. or somebody like that. Hey, Larry. But what's going to happen is I am the legal guy, and I'm very well versed on federal civil litigation. Sure. You keep on poking the bear, the bear is gonna poke back at you. As a, as a litigator myself, I understand. I don't poke anyone, I listen to your concerns, so thank you. Okay, we're gonna come in, I'm gonna come. That's fine. Thank you. But bear in mind, uh, we go fast, so you get time for a question. I can't no, you that's, it's all good. Five minutes. I, can't give you the time I got this, that. we're good, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna bring my friend in here. Oh, it's going on YouTube, she's a part of the video too. <laughs> there you have it YouTube conversation with the mayor we're going to go back in there and we're going to record